All right, shalom, shalom, everybody. This is the great day of Yahuwah in the priestly Zadok calendar of Yahuwah. Today we got, I got my armillary set up. I got two different armillaries. This is my armillary sundial, and we are just moments and minutes away from the equinox day right here, March 20, 20th, year 2022. And I'm at Sherry Hayhurst still here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, we are so baracked in Yahuwah to find the tall, the last day of the Enoch calendar. And tomorrow, March 21st, starts the first day, day four. Barak Yahuwah. So let me turn my calendar on, uh, video around here. And let's take an observation and look. Right here, we are getting right down to almost the very center line inside the center of the armillary within just moments and minutes away. This is a Barakata Yahuwah. Oh, we are getting so close, folks. And look, this over here, see my little norm? This is my little table armillary. And I've been marking on different hours and times of the day. You see the date on there, 3-20-2022, today. I'm going to put me another little dot right there at the very end of this. I'm going to run me a little line out here. I'm going to write the time. What time is this? Let me see. Oh, I can't read what time it is. Let's see. 1.35. 1.35. PM. This was AM. This was AM. This was PM. What we're going to do is at the end of this day, when the sun is over in the western part of the sky over here, the Shemaim, it's going to make the shadow cast keep running that direction. When the sun was coming up in the east, it put a shadow going this direction, on this side of my two boards. When it comes over here past the equinox, the sun right there comes past equinox today. This shadow is going to move that direction. And at the end of this day, I'm going to lay this ruler down and make a straight, perfect line. Look at that. A straight, perfect line right across this ruler for it shows the day of equinox. Anybody can do this. All right, let's look right over here again. Rock Yahuwah. We are just, we are, man, within a couple minutes of this being a perfect equinox day. You see this line right here going east to west, this shadow. I got my armillary set up. And then when you look at the armillary and you was going to sight it in it's with a, like you're sighting in a gun from here to the other side right there. That is pointing directly to North Polaris Star, the Hillel Star, Hillel Star. So, so Hillel means North Star, and that's also the word that in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, that we use for praise, because the word praise we say Hillel, you, Yah, Hillel, Yah, Hallelujah. But let me tell you what that Hillel means. Hillel, Hillel, Hell means star. The North Star. Hallel. Hallel. Ooh. Yah. Praise the North Star of Yah. And this is how the Zadoks did it. This is the priestly calendar. I'm telling you folks. If you haven't studied the Hebrew language. And the picture of Lufbet. Ooh. -wee. We're talking about this. Is, this is beautiful folks. This is so beautiful. And so. So finding on the day of Tukufa. A day of Tukufa. The word Tukufa is in our scriptures. I'm going to write the word Tukufa. I'm going to show you a little bit of something here. I'm going to write it in the picture of bit. Ta. Ku. Kuf. Pei. Hey. Ta Kuf Ha huh. Ta Kufa 
And look, it's all the Kuf, which is the sun. Right there. Right there, folks. We are right there in the center. The tall, the mark, the sign, the great sign mentioned by Enoch and Jubilees and the scriptures of the prophets of the priestly order in the calendar. Finding the tall, the cross, the mark, the great sign of the sun. Ooh, Barak Yahuwah. Yes, I should have made my strings just a little bit tighter so that they didn't. Wind's kind of blowing a little bit today, folks. But right there, at this very moment, at this very moment right now, and what time is it? 1.42 p.m. We are on Equinox. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, man. Beautiful, Barak Yahuwah. We are coming, and we are in the fourth gate. We got to come out of the, we got to come out of the gate to start the first day of the month. In the Enoch calendar, in the Zadok priestly calendar, this isn't Enoch's calendar. Enoch was told to witness this calendar. This is Yahuwah's calendar, folks. This is Yahuwah's calendar. Look at that. Beautiful. Two different armillaries going. Two different times of measurement. Now, there's other people right now with the same armillaries, or at least one of them, or both of them, actually. Butch Fawcett's got one. He's set up like this on his table. Um, my, my, my good Aki, my good brother, my brother, and your brother, Earl, he's got an armillary just like this one set up right here, the sundial. And he's measuring the time for the, uh, the, for the equinox today. And, um, and he, does, he lives in Texas. And there's, there's some other people. There's some in Moab, Utah. Um, Remnant of Light. They've got, a rem, they've got an armillary set up. Um, and they're in a different time zone. And so there's others that are using these armillaries that we are marking and showing all the way around the whole circle of the earth where that sun rises from the east and it goes and sets in the east all the way around in a tukufa, a circumference of time. In the kuf, the circle of the sun's circuit in a year. A solar year. But I could tell you who I'm. All right. So I got me a little man of Chevis here. Just a little bitty bit down here. And I'm going to drink to you. But I could tell you from your parade. Adama. Thank you, Yahuwah. Now we can get ready for tomorrow being the new year. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. Center line right in the center. You can't put the camera straight above it because I cause a shadow because of that sun, that cool right there is directly shining straight down in that crosshairs of that tall. Oh, Yahuwah. Oh, Yahuwah. We love you. We trust you. You're our creator, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day what a beautiful day we are we are coming to time beautiful it looks like it is directly centered right now at this moment directly centered at this moment 147 direct center the winds kind of blowing my string just a little in the center back and forth but the east and west is perfect the east and west is perfect
Oh, it's so beautiful. You want to learn how to measure time in Yahuwah? You want to learn how to measure a year? Set you up some armillaries. And when everything returns back to that spot again in the seventh month. And everything's going to turn back to this right here again within the first month. Of the first of the year. At the end of the year for the first month to begin. This is the sign of Yahuwah. This is the sign of Yahuwah. The moon is not your sign, folks. This resets the calendar. This starts on day four tomorrow. We go five, six, seven, Shabbat. Thursday will be Shabbat. But I could tell you who I... Look at that. Oh, Yahuwah. What is today? Equinox. Today is Equinox. Many people say, oh, the Equinox don't exist. Quit lying. Quit lying to yourself. Quit lying to others. Quit lying. Get you a sundial or millery just like the Zadok priest had. They found one in the Qamran caves. The menorah was also set up for an armillary as a sundial. And they found two different um, two different menorah sundials. They found in one of the old ancient temples of, uh, that was used for Yahuwah and us, his abret, Yashriel, and the lineages of Abraham. Listen, folks. It's very good. It's very good. Them lines don't lie. Them shadow castings don't lie. If anybody can go out there and you can really try to figure out how you can use time with a 354 day lunar cycle. When we know that a full year is not completed until 364 days, 356. 65th day is the reset day to start again for the next 354 days which are divided by seven that's that's 354 days 52 weeks 13 weeks in every quarter of a year of seven days that's right and then the the and then we have a prophetic look at that that shadow is moved over past the center now it has moved over past the center. We are past equinox, folks. And then if you use a 360-day calendar out of the 364-day calendar, that's the prophetic calendar. And you start counting 360 days from, <clears throat> from the seventh month, and then you're going to go come follow it all the way up till 1260 days later. You're going to fall out exactly on Shavuot. Because it's a prophetic calendar. If you don't know how to use this priestly calendar. Let us show you. Have we got all the answers? No. Are we learning from year to year. And years of years. To come follow in with the being perfect in Yahuwah. And being restored. Yes. Yahuwah. Well, thank you everybody. Shalom, shalom. Tomorrow's New Year's. Ten days after tomorrow. The tenth day. Yashriel had to prepare a lamb. The fourteenth day. And it started in that night. The day did not start at night. The 14th day started in that morning. But that night was Passover. When the Melika, the death angel, came over. The very next morning was the 15th that they left Mr. Egypt. In the spelling of Yud, the 10th letter is the 10th Yud. It was the 10th day, the hand. 
the spelling of Yud Dalit. Ten and four. Dalit is four. Yud is ten. The fourteenth day, the fourteenth night, the death angel came over. But in the name of Yah, Yud Hey, Yud ten Hey, the revealing is a person standing with their arms raised. On the fifteenth, in the name of Yah, they were delivered out. And you have to understand, in the name of Yah, the calendar is proclaimed. The aloof tall, the beginning and end. We're looking at the last day of the calendar. Shalom.